Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Andreas Janka. I'm the product manager for Ivanti Device and Application Control. And in today's video, I would like to give you an overview of our new and exciting functionality we implemented in 5.3 update one. Let's have a look. The first feature I'd like to talk about is the possibility to delete scan templates. When you go to your scan explorer, you can perform a new scan. And here you have now a button, it's called the Manage Templates button. When you select that one, you can see all the already created scan templates, as well as the amount of scans which are related to the scan template. When you select the scan template, you can now delete the template. And then you will also be notified in case you used the template already for existing scans. That means that those scans won't be available anymore once you delete the template. When we hit the yes button, the template will be completely deleted. You can hit the done button and then you can continue creating new scan templates. And the next feature I'd like to show you is within the log explorer. You can go to the templates select any template, go to the settings, and here you have now the managed instance name column. And here you can also go to the criteria section. And if you have already created instances, you would see them here. Unfortunately, I don't have them here in this environment. That's why the list is empty. You can select so you can filter on those instances as well, which makes it much, much easier to go through the Log Explorer results. And the next feature within this release, it's an addition to an already existing feature. In 5.3, when you go to the device options, you have the new possibility to enable the System Trust AC. Uh, please note that you need to have the application control enabled and licensed. With update one, we enhance this possibility with the feature below, the system trust subjects. With that option, you can either include or exclude specific certificates within the certificate store, which you want to allow or deny. We have a dedicated video about that functionality and we will also provide white paper how to configure that as the possibilities are really large. Those are the three new functionalities in Windows. Now let's move over to the new functionality on Mac OS. The first new feature on the Mac OS side are the added notifications. So here you can see when you open the notifications bar, all the added notification items what we support. It's basically like on Windows when you plug in a USB device or have any other actions, you can see the notifications on the on Mac OS. So how does it look like then when you plug in a device? Let's do it here. We select the device and we plug it in and then on the top right corner you will see the notification item. You have many different notification items depending on what you allow, what you disallow, what you deny and then you can also open the notifications bar like that and you see all the notifications here what was allowed, what was denied, etc. Of course, all those events are also uploaded to the server and you can view them in the Log Explorer as well. For macOS clients, we also added file name shattering and file size shattering as well, which can be configured in exactly the same way as for the Windows agents. We also improved the info tab on the macOS agent. We grouped the items in a more logical way and also added additional information fields on the info tab. That will tremendously help you to keep the overview and to see all the information that really matters. 
additional information about the new features you can find in the release notes which are linked below and as always this new release you can download from the Ivanti download portal that's about it for today's video thanks a lot for watching let me know in the comment section which feature you like the most in uh, this release and i hope to hear from you very soon thanks a lot take care bye bye